In this video, we are going to try to represent a vector in the two-dimensional space. You will need a ruler and a protractor to draw vectors up to scale. So, make sure you have those tools. To represent vectors, we have to give the magnitude and direction in some way. So we have three ways to do that. Let's see some examples. Now here we have A equals 20 feet per second at a bearing of 30 degrees. Now this is called as true bearing. Here we always have three digits for the direction and what we're going to draw is something like this now the idea here is when we have a true bearing as direction we draw the vector with the given angle due to north to clockwise direction so if we are given 30 degrees we are going to use our protractor we are going to place it like this here so that we are going to measure 30 degrees here from north and we are going to draw our vector in that direction when it comes to magnitude we have to define a scale here it is defined as 1 inch for 10 feet per second so this means if you have a magnitude of 20 feet per second then you have to draw a 2 inch arrow so that you will express or represent this vector according to given values so what you do here is if it is a true bearing then you measure the given angle due north clockwise direction and draw your arrow accordingly and then you define your scale and draw the magnitude according to your scale which in this case it is two inches well the second way to represent a vector is we can say V equals 75 pounds of force at 140 degrees to the horizontal. Now the thing is, representing the magnitude never changes. You define a scale and draw the length of the arrow accordingly. But when it comes to direction, that differs the ways. Now here it says 140 degrees to the horizontal. So how are we going to define or represent the direction? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to measure the given angle here. It's 140 degrees counterclockwise direction do the horizontal axis, which is the x-axis. So my direction is in the second quadrant and my magnitude of the vector is given accordingly. Now here the scale is given as 1 centimeter equals 25 pounds so we draw a 3 centimeter arrow to represent 75 pounds. Well the thing is you can define the scale as you like it. You can say 1 centimeter is 10 pounds so that you draw a seven and a half centimeter long arrow or like this 25 pounds so that you draw three centimeter arrows but the important thing is you have to have the correct direction if it says 140 degrees to the horizontal then you're going to measure your angle according to due to the horizontal axis 140 degrees counterclockwise. 
The third way to represent a vector is we can give a bearing of southwest 60 degrees. Well, now we are mentioning here a quadrant. Like, I mean, if you have your coordinate plane so that this is north, this is south, west, and east. Now, if it says southwest, then we're talking about this quadrant. That's why this kind of bearing is called as quadrant bearing. Now here what we are going to do is we are going to measure the angle according to the north-south or the vertical axis. Now it's given 60 degrees. We are going to measure 60 degrees to the vertical axis. Well, if it was given not southwest, but say northwest, then it will be in this quadrant. And we will draw our arrow so that it will be 60 degrees to the vertical axis. So it's always the vertical axis that you take uh, accordingly in quadrant bearing. So let's see the actual graph. So here you see that the angle is given according to the vertical axis, 60 degrees. And here is the scale. It's 20 miles per hour. So this actually is a one and a half inch long vector drawn here. Well, the vectors drawn here are not up to scale because I have to zoom the figures to make it more visible, but you have to draw up to the scale you define. You can define your scale as 1 inches uh, or 10 miles per hour, then you will have a 3 inches long vector while drawing. Now is your turn. Using your ruler and protractor, please draw the diagrams of these given questions on your notebook and show me.